The Pentagon continues to be on high alert as Iran launches a massive drone and missile attack on Israel. U.S. forces working in coordination with Israel to shoot down some of those drones. Well, dozens of drones, actually. Israeli forces just a few moments ago saying most of those drones were intercepted outside of Israel's border. Joining us now is our national security correspondent, Jennifer Griffin, with the latest from the Pentagon. Jen, what do you got? Hi, John. Well, it's not just drones that have been shot down. As we've reported, U.S. officials tell us that the U.S. military has shot down dozens of those one-way attack drones outside of Israeli airspace, but also ballistic and cruise missiles. We have now learned that uh, U.S. military assets in the region have been used to intercept some of those uh, ballistic and land attack cruise missiles that we were reported in the last hour were fired from Iran. So that means that Iran fired not just drones, but also ballistic and cruise missiles. And what's significant is that the U.S. military uh, engaged uh, at least one of those ballistic missiles in a, in a manner that protected Israel. So U.S. Navy, U.S. Air Force, U.S. Central Command, very, very busy tonight across the Middle East. We also understand that the Jordanian Air Force and missile defense systems in Jordan were very, very busy tonight. They have engaged, I'm also told, dozens of drones, uh, Iranian drones, that were passing through their airspace. The IDF has been very clear that most of the drones and missiles were destroyed and intercepted outside Israeli airspace. That's good news for Israel, and it shows the incredibly complex layered uh, missile defense and air, uh, air assets employed to engage not just uh, these missiles and drones, but also we're told that, um, that uh, um, aircraft were sent by hostile aircraft were sent by Iran toward Israel, and they were all intercepted. We're told so a lot of activity in the skies over uh, over the Middle East tonight. Uh, but we are getting some good signs from the IDF telling uh, Israelis uh, that that they uh, no longer necessarily need to be in shelters, and so um, this this first wave of attacks uh, appears to be winding down, but we are told that the U.S. military um, military aircraft are still in the skies patrolling, uh, ensuring that Israel is safe tonight. John. And I'm sure that's a prudent thing to do as well at this point. Jane Griffin for us at the Pentagon. Jen, thank you. Sam. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.